Hi, my name is Bora Jambula and this is the fourth video about our Fast API project. So in the last video, we have just created a class to generate some random numbers and then we have created an endpoint here to pass this data to the JavaScript site. And in the JavaScript site, we have just used jQuery and the other option is to use fetch as you remember we can have uh, an unlimited option here uh, by using the every maybe the libraries from the JavaScript uh, maybe all of them have some options like this to get some data from API's but uh, the most popular two of them is this so uh, we have just used jQuery by getting some data from our API and then we have used this data uh, in a plotly plot to create an histogram, All right? So in this video, we are going to repeat this process uh, in every maybe 100 milliseconds, and we are going to get some new data uh, from our backend sites from Python, and then we are going to update our histogram in every step. All right, so to do this in JavaScript side, let me just start the API first. All right, now it's running. And the JavaScript side, this part just run once, runs once, like this, runs and then stops, all right? Uh, I just want to repeat this process again and again and the simplest way to do this in JavaScript to use the set interval function so after this after initializing our histogram by using plotly I'm going to use the set interval function so let's say set interval and then we are going to do something let's make it a function like this all right then we are going to do something here and the second argument should be the interval the time interval and i just want to repeat this part for every 100 milliseconds all right so now we can define our function here so of course we, sh we should just use the same method to get some data from the API again. So we can just write it here like jQuery.ix or maybe like this using the fetch function. It doesn't matter. You can just uh, try your way. But I'm going to show you another method. So you, you, should, you don't have to write this jQuery to use the jQuery actually. You can just put here a dollar sign like this sorry like this and then you can just say this like dollar dots and then you can just use ix like this all right it's the same thing so after this let's use our url again and I just want to get all these random integers one by one so let's change this initial part to one instead of ten so after this all of this stuff is the same so the method is get and the data type is json and then success it's going to be a function by using data and now let's try to let's try by trunk by seeing that check if it runs or not so I just want to put here a console.log all right like this let me just save it and see the output first 
If I did it correctly, then we can see just an histogram, including just one random integer between 0 and 100. And then uh, now it should just call this uh, API again and again in every 100 milliseconds. Let me just show you the console now. And it runs, as you can see. Right? It just runs and runs again and gets some new random integers. So now we should just add these numbers to our histograms and we should just update our histogram by using these numbers. So let's turn back to here. Inside this, let's again, uh, we can just change this part in the feature. Uh, instead of using just one, maybe just uh, two, three, or four hundred or one thousand numbers. So I'm going to uh, develop a solution here again by using an array. All right. And after this, I'm going to use the same structure a for loop. And then append our array with this item. All right. Now we have our new x. All right. And the next thing we should do is extend our histogram. And to do this, Plotly has a function with the name extend traces. All right. So the ID of this div was plotly dash div. And then we can just define the new trace. So I'm going to add this new X to our previous X. All right. This new X values to our previous X. And we should just define an axis also. We are going to use the axis zero, like this, All right? Let me show you the output now. And it runs. And then it stops, no, no, it's running. It's running very well. Let's see the console also. And we get all these numbers. You can see our histogram. And the number of these random integers increasing and increasing. All right. Now, this was a very simple project. It's just uh, for you to learn to pass some data to get some data from an API from the Python side to the JavaScript side. All right. And in the next video, we are going to get some information again from our API. But this time, our data uh, is going to be an image file. All right. See you in the next video.